until they went and changed Five, things. Four, three. <laughs> and then, put in apparently laws, I yeah. was unaware. Yeah. Now go home and get your shine box. Welcome back, everybody, to a Wednesday evening. Uh, if you didn't notice, we uh, we took a week off um, with no notice. My favorite kind. Well, well Jimmy, you got to get your crap together so we don't, you know, so you know, we get this done. So yeah. keep, your per- keep your personal life separate, okay? You know, I, I was doing the little Trump thing there. You know, I I was gonna I was gonna lock him up, and then I said, Nah, we won't bust Joe's balls. Um, and then he turns it on me. <laughs> uh, you know what? I had to get you before you got me. That's all. <laughs> yeah. I, well, welcome to season three. Anyway, um, at least that's what we're calling it. We did take a week off because Joe had a got a better date, better looking date. That's what I it did. was. Two hundred so, mile an hour date. So come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well. All right. Um, hey, yeah. Hanging out. Hanging out with your new rich friends. I get it. Yeah. You know. Oh, please, leaving the leaving the leaving the guys from the neighborhood behind. The hood. I know. Yeah, so that's where we're from. Yeah. We are from the hood. They they're white hoods. Um, <laughs> oh you know. yeah, that's a double entendre. <laughs> I think. You know, I was thinking of robbing a Seven Eleven this weekend too, but I didn't. You know. <laughs> oh wait, there, wait. We don't rob Seven Eleven. So that's is right. There, is there such thing uh, as a white hood? Jeez. I think they're in the. Uh, it's called I, suburbia. Yeah. I think Joe Biden's keeping them in his Footlocker. You know what's left of them. But, yes. Uh, but, uh, oh, yeah. we got a lot oh. to talk about today. Lots to talk about. Let me start a little housekeeping. We got to welcome. We have to welcome somebody on board. Oh gonna, yes, yeah. I'm going to officially be the um, the Florida uh, welcomer. If uh, if you don't mind, Florida Florida would like to offer a warm welcome to Paul's longtime friend and also friend of the show. So in other words. He's a friend of ours, uh, Leif Erickson, who yesterday completed his journey across America, taking advantage of the fair winds and winding up where he belongs, at the water's edge in Tampa. Hey, welcome aboard, Leif. Uh, you're now a fellow Floridian, as they say. Yes, and he's already uh, making note of the humidity uh, in, in, in a discussion. That well, we didn't had. he see the warning sign <laughs> at the border? It said, welcome to Florida. Come on, Leif. <laughs> You know, if yes. you get bit by a rattlesnake and your kid gets chomped by an alligator, we put warning signs up at the border. Yeah. Who, yes. is, this, who is this leaf guy? He's a friend of mine. Okay. He, he's, uh, he came from California across uh, nice. the, the white states. and uh, California. So, so he, came, he came to a free country. Yes. Yeah. He, he had enough of that crazy land of fruits and nuts out there you know yeah the uh, across the fruited plains well, there, this is something we, we, we want to talk about some california crap today so <laughs> talk about yeah. we do bit. on oh, purpose yeah. oh All yeah a right. right. little bit we, we kind of uh we put together a trio of things um during our vacation you might say and some of it uh was it, it's still hot some of it you know, it's it, it the temperature cooled down because that's the way the investigation goes. You know, one of them was Obama's chef. Uh, everybody everybody re- remembers that. This is it's really sad in today's society <laughs> when somebody freaking drowns with a flotation device and a paddle in three feet of water. And this and I a week later, I have to ask if anybody remembers it. An ex no, president right? chef. That I was mean, buried, buried real quick. I thought that what what was kind of interesting about that whole thing was that did you know that um Hillary's chef drowned also. I yes. had, uh, yeah, I had some kind of a story about that. Um, didn't he drown like in a uh, storm drain or something? Some think, insignificant think, amount of water. I think yeah. he drowned. I think he drowned in a puddle. Yes, it was. A, it was a puddle, and oddly enough, there was a handprint on the back of his head, and his face was like mashed down in the mud. You know. Yeah, so, uh, Campbell. His name was Campbell. His name was Campbell. Campbell's death. Oh, I'm sorry. The Obama's uh, chef, I think, his name. His last name was Campbell. Anyway, the death his his death parallels with Walter Scheib, an executive chef at the White House for eleven years under Bill Clinton and George Bush. He also drowned in two thousand and fifteen while hiking. I'm pausing. I'm deliberately pausing. He drowned while hiking. 
Yeah. In a puddle. In, in a puddle. <laughs> in the de Cristo Mountains near near Taos in uh, New Mexico. Uh, yes, yeah, so you know, you know, New Mexico that that very wet wet they're noted, place. <laughs> yes, they're noted for their deep puddles on on the hiking trails in the mountains. It, it, you can't. You know what really gets me about this stuff? What's really funny? Any leftist will read this and be like, "Oh, oh yeah, oh no, I totally understand how that could happen." Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm thinking, what, what was that gay uh, 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 firing line, dude, or what? what? You, know, uh, but, you know, you show them the well, pictures. That's redundant too. You know, <laughs> you, you show them the picture. That could have been. That could have been what's his name? That short, chubby ball guy that got fired from CNN. But you show them the pictures, and they're like, "Oh no, no, that wet water looks sufficiently deep enough to drown in." Uh, what, yeah. what the? Yeah, what's the freaking size? Ten freaking combat boot footprint on his head. What's that? <laughs> oh, that, they were what, trying to. They were trying to about? rescue him. They were trying to rescue him. Oh man, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it just it goes. I mean, I'm, we don't. It's Tafaro was a guy. The other guy's name Campbell was the guy. The the assa- the assassin. I mean, the guy who drowned hiking. Uh, you know. Um, yeah, and and uh, Campbell, the the guy, Obama's guy, turns out <sighs> turns out the the follow up reporting from I don't know it was Daily Mail or whatever said that he was with a female. Yeah. Uh, but it wasn't his wife, so no. uh, who knows what that means, if anything. But well, there's a common thread, common denominator, uh, common coincidences, if you will. Common cover up. Common uh, by- cover up. Yeah. All of this stuff is suspicious. Yeah, I it's mean suspicious. the the nine one one entries are blanked out uh, for for that particular call. I've seen yeah. the page. It's like yeah, and they'll say like, it's for security da, 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 blank. Yeah. And, and we discussed um, yeah, uh, during right, our right. national security. <laughs> yeah, national security issue. Uh, now, for for the <laughs> for those of you who don't live anywhere near Martha's Vineyard. Uh, and haven't seen the $14 million or whatever it costs now, uh, mansion or a compound, as they call it, of, of, of ex El Presidente. He's got uh, Barack 30, Hussein he's got Obama. 30 acres. Uh, 30, uh, black, 3 0 acres. So we, we just, let me ask, let me just ask you, Black Jesus. Yeah, let me ask you both the question. <laughs> Do you suppose the security is, is uh, pretty good? Lax? <laughs> You, do you suppose the security out there is pretty good? Well, let me yeah. tell you something. I was up, I was in a, a, a can of bunk port um, not that long ago, and uh, did you go past the Chappaquiddick Memorial Bridge? No, but I went okay. to that's in can of bunk ports in Maine. That's yeah. where that's where George Bush's compound is. Right. He wasn't there at his compound, yeah. but there were black SUVs driving around his compound because it's, it's an island, and you can see it off the main road. They. Even when he's not there, they yeah, have people yeah. on his compound. Well, these you know? these it, these are ex presidents, but uh, King Hussein is is he you know he's the first half white uh, ex president. Therefore, therefore, he also received special Secret Service attention because of a perceived threat. And when I say perceived, I'm talking about whack job liberals. You know, Ooh. yeah. They want they, he's half he's half black, so they're gonna try to assassinate him. You know, you know, and it, mm-hmm. you, basically that's that's just to, to start a narrative. So his security right. out there, if he if, if there is an uh, anti aircraft uh, bunkers in that property, I'd be surprised. There's there's probably sonar devices, sonar floats. Uh, Paul, what were you saying? Uh, you know, uh, probably uh, all kinds of sensors, that seismic place, sensors, yeah, seismic yeah. sensors covered no. with cameras. <laughs> You probably can't even drive near the place. Like if you're like a, a local residence, you there's yeah. Yeah. You, could, but, you couldn't even get into his neighborhood. But his chef, his chef Tafaro, okay, who was on an eleven foot flotation device, basically, found the blind spot. Yeah. Yeah. And proceeded to <laughs> to, to to stand up paddle or as we call it, supping. Down, up and down, up and down. Is, is that what you call it? It's be called supping. It's called supping, yeah. And uh, he really? found the blind spot, and and consequently seems, he wound it, up. Who's that guy I, that got that uh, that I, didn't I consider hang myself less gay that I do not know that. <laughs> well, why you want such, why, why you want such a gay thing tonight? Less than the 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 uh, gayness 
of uh, you two that knew the name. All right, I'll talk about this from now on. <laughs> so, Am I in a game uh, anyway, tonight? so this guy yeah. dies anyway, and you know he died the same way as uh, Jeffrey Epstein died, except there was water involved. <laughs> yeah. I don't, right. want, I don't want to beat well, that. Well, you know, being, but... being somebody's chef, you get to, you know, listen in on dinner conversations and all kinds of stuff. You're privy to a lot of information. Yeah. I think is. he was, I think he was writing a, 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 a book. I think he saw Michelle Obama schlong. I think there was something <laughs> something, going on. Yeah. Yeah. There it's, was something. Whatever it is, something, something, something stinks about it. He yeah. probably saw, he probably had uh, intimate relations with uh, Ooh, Obama Barry. schlong too. Something yeah, well, it's like it's, it's, French fries. It's it's not well known that o- Obama is a twink. Um, we uh, Republicans know that, or at least many do. But right, anyway, right. before we carry on, I want to do a little dark news. Can we do that? Bring it. Live from our very own dark news network. It's tonight's feature. Another dark news. It's yours, Paul. All right. Well, this one is uh, is about South Africa. And the reason that it is um, important is this is our future in America. All right. Um, for those who are unaware, South Africa was created, founded, built all by whites. Uh, the only black people there were nomads crossing back and forth. Uh, with their goats or camels or whatever they do. So the uh, Dutch came in, settled it, started farming it. That's what Boer means, is uh, farmer. Uh, So then we have a communist piece of shit, what's his name, Uh, Mandela, come in. By the way, if you want to find out what his thing was, look up necklacing, all right? That's the kind of guy uh, that... uh, all the West got behind uh, for this apartheid bullshit. Right, right. Uh, and it was a very successful country uh, until we handed it back over to the blacks. Now it's a shithole. Uh, no surprise. Uh, but the thing is, they've been going after the white farmers. They're still the boars down there provide the food. But the blacks, because of decades of uh, hearing the media tell them that they were uh, disenfranchised and the whitey took advantage and blah, blah, blah. They kill the white farmers and they do that in gruesome ways. Um, uh, 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 crucifixions, uh, children boiled in water, uh, rapes, it just the most horrific animals you can imagine. These people, there's a, as a matter of fact, I posted a, a video clip there's a highway down there and this is just from 2018 to current there's a highway with a cross like every 10 yards on each side of the highway and each one of those crosses is a dead uh, boar farmer this is like two miles long so i didn't do the count but it's a shitload of dead dead white people Hmm. uh so a lot of people don't know this because the media won't cover it or they'll say, oh, that's a conspiracy right. theory. Uh, this is the, no, that doesn't really happen. That bullshit. The, this, the recent guy and this it's been happening well, for years, by the way, it, it has been. Yeah. And this was just a few days ago. White farmer killed wife beaten unconscious one day after South African EFF leader. That's the number three political party in South Africa. I forget the guy's name, but they have a song. It's called Kill the Boar. And they sing it at their political yeah. rallies. Um, so these guys, uh, let's say a farmer was tortured and killed on his property in South Africa early on Sunday. So that's what, four days ago. And his wife beaten unconscious only one day after the leader of the nation's third largest, largest political party chanted kill the boar at a massive rally in Joburg, Johannesburg. Uh, Theo and Marlinda backers, white farmers were attacked. <clears throat> attacked on their property in the province of Umpalanga. Before losing consciousness, Melinda Baker was able to identify the attackers who allegedly slit Theo's throat after beating him with an iron bar. So the the attack took place after he opened the gate early Sunday morning to allow the cattle to go out and graze, according to local news. So this this is what's coming to America. We've got the same... Uh, mentality uh, 
same mentality and the same being pumped up by, you know, public education, by media, that you're, you're whiteies are bad. They took everything from you. you. They owe you, blah, 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 blah. We can see this. In, a, in my own lifetime, because we haven't taken care of the black crime problem, we've got a 100,000 dead white people that didn't have to die. Yep. It is only because we're afraid they're going to call us racist. I don't care anymore. They can call me. I am racist, as a matter of fact. They can call me whatever they want. This is unacceptable. We don't have to live like this. Uh, that's number one on the DNN. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, this has, is this, isn't, isn't that enough? Uh, yeah, well, this has to do with the, um, the, the Trump thing. And here's a, a just an interesting uh, tweet from Greg Price and uh, how how this works, how the news uh, operates. On June 7th, FBI releases documents to Congress alleging the Bidens took a $10 million bribe from Burisma. June 8th, Jack Smith indicts Trump in the Mar-a-Lago documents case. Okay. Hmm. June tw- uh, July 26th. Hunter Biden goes to court and rejects the sweetheart plea deal after it was revealed the DOJ tried to give him a blanket immunity from uh, future prosecution. July 27, Jack Smith adds more charges for Trump in the Mar-a-Lago case, the superseding indictments. Remember that? Coincidental. Yeah, okay. Uh, (laughs) Then we got July 31st, which is what, Monday? Hunter Biden's former business partner testifies to Congress that Joe Biden was on over 20 calls with his son's business partners, which Biden lied about, uh, and that Burisma execs pressured them to fire the prosecutor. And and we don't want to talk about that. So the next day, Jack Smith indicts Trump again for January 6th. This is how it works, people, in case you didn't know. End of dark news. Yeah, and it's... If you don't see the the petulant, dangerous behavior pattern, then then you're just plain not looking or don't care. And if you don't think this is coming to a theater near you, then you're just a fool. Okay. I watched a film, a a film, a little clip from, uh, I think it was the conservative twins. They showed a, 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 I don't know what you call them, a gaggle, a gang, a herd, uh, uh, black utes. Uh, mixed with scholars, girls, boys. Sorry, yeah, they're on their way to college. Scholars. Yeah, at, 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 at zero dark thirty, ransacking a freaking Seven Eleven. I mean, just with, you know, this is in the name of God knows what. I, I know, I know, we've been told uh, this is um, reparations. We have to let the black steal. Um, and and the the sad part about it is, it, it you know, I, I hate to use that that, that sophomoric uh, analogy, but you know, the bad apple. Uh, spoils the the basket um it's 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 her it's horrific it's absolutely horrific and we don't hear any of those stories well we you hear, you're not allowed you get, to hear them yeah that's the thing they get snuffed uh they get taken off of social media but there are thousands thousands yeah. of yeah. those yeah. yeah yeah you don't we don't hear a lot and of it's things. not just the the robbery ones forget that the 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 blacks coming up and sucker punching some white yeah. guy standing there or a white girl, you know, right. the, those are an elderly worse. one. Uh, 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 yeah. Elderly. Oh, yeah. They, they wouldn't go for and somebody they, that might fight back. And, yeah. and Asians, um, uh, yeah. those two, they, they particularly hate Asians. Well, that, that uh, whole South was, Africa, the thing to jump back on that, that that's ethnic cleansing, if you will. Yeah. Uh, it's a genocide it, is what it is. It's a, yeah. Genocide. And it's, it's been going on since Mandela was released yeah. and, and the end of apartheid. Um, um, they, they did not that they corresponded. Um, but I remember when the, the good old rock and rollers were, you know, had, a, had an anti-apartheid concert and all, right. uh, and the day, the day that met Nelson, basically his people took back over. That was the end of South Africa. Yeah. Know? Um, and anyway, it's a hey, shame Joe. too, because by all accounts, by all accounts, even a lot of large population of the black people, it was a great place to live under yeah. white Beautiful rule. country. Yeah. yeah. So well, getting um, getting back to Trump, the, you know, you, you hear um, all these news outlets get, got the memo that there's no evidence. There's the, no evidence, no evidence. There's so much evidence. Joe Biden is a foreign agent. Joe Biden is a rotting bag of shit and he needs to be impeached and put in prison. 
he's the real criminal. Trump's not a criminal. Trump did nothing wrong. And it's like, Paul, the, you you mentioned I don't know, maybe three or four incidents where you know Trump got indicted the day after uh, something was said about the Bidens. Yeah, right. there was like if you, there's more. There's like oh, ten yeah, yeah. or it it goes on and on and on. It's like this, this was it, from this is over the period of three and a half weeks. Yeah, yeah this is it's so blatant in your face. I mean, look, it, it it's it's disgusting. Yeah. It's much worse. <laughs> it's much worse than that. And the problem is, for fully half the country, whatever CNN and MSNBC say, that is truth. And they are so far from truth. I mean, Fox is bad enough. I, I give Fox, you know, a 50-50 rating. You know, MSNBC is maybe 10%, 5% truth. CNN, 10%. Well, it, it's out. funny. We're, we're talking about colorblindness. And we you know, it, there's there's different kinds of color. But I think there's three. I don't know what the, the medical terms are anymore. I don't, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, Something but, to do with the rods, man. The rods. Yeah, it, it, this will make sense in a, in a minute. But, so if somebody shows you a color and it, you look at it and you say it's green, like, hey, what do you think of this color? I think that's an ugly green. I don't like ugly green. You know, I don't like any green. And then that person says to you, it's not green. It's not green. Yeah. Well, you asked me what, what color this is, it's, I, and I'm looking at it. I'm telling you, it's green. You know, and if you don't have that that color blindness, you, you can't. You really can't appreciate it. My point is this: Th- these people, these the, the the percentage of leftists that believe this garbage, are are color blind. It doesn't matter what you show them. They saw the view. They watched CNN. They watched PMSNBC, and they said, and that's it. That that's the color. For the day, no matter what you say, no matter what happens, that's it. That's the fact, Jack. Man, man, man. We, weak, weak minds. I man. mean, these people, these people are their their brain, their their minds are weak and soft, yep. and they can't think for themselves. They can't have they they can't look at a situation and come up with their own conclusion and and see what's happening. They're weak. May that's I it. may I plagiarize a uh, a short passage? I don't know. Uh, can you? Well, I'm asking permission. Go ahead. I, I believe you can. Uh, uh, okay. uh, we call that Joe Bidenism. All right. The party told you to reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. It was their final, most essential command. And that's from 1984. Oh, okay. And that's exactly what we live in. They tell you to. They tell Isn't you. Isn't it funny how music. that how that stupid movie is so damn real today? It is. It is. Uh, well, really let me remarkable. let me let me tell you. It's not. It's not okay. ironic. Okay. It, it's not. It's not funny. I told you. I told you this before. I'm going to say it again. This is part of my theorems. <laughs> All right. Um, and I have several I'm amongst pet peeves. These people don't look at these books as if they're a, a novel that it's, that came to pass. These are uh, blueprints for these books. people. Okay. All right. Okay. Re- like Revelation, for example. If you read the book of Revelation, we look at that book as a prophet, a prophecy type of, you know, what's going to happen. They look at it as a blueprint. Uh, the yeah, Third that's... Reich, the writings of the Third Reich, the Democrats, and this is provable. They looked at right. it as a blueprint. That's right. That that part I know. Yeah. yeah. The, the fact of the matter is the, 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 the blueprint, if you will, for gun control in the United States is based off Nazi Germany. That's a fact. Now, I can show that to a piece of paper to somebody who's an anti-gun person, and I, you can have Hitler's signature verified on the bottom of it, and they'll tell you, no, no, and no. They won't believe it, right? They won't yeah. believe it. They will not believe it. And they, don't, are don't follow, they are following the final command. Yeah, don't mistake the fact that things, wow. That was written in, in that book, 1984, or, or Animal Farm, or that happened in Logan's Run. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not the way it happens. They, they these people know what they're doing, and they're and they they're not smart enough. So they got to look up a book and say, "Oh, yeah, we're going to make this happen." That sounds like a great idea. Ministry of Truth. Yeah, let's do that. They they're so freaking out there that they started a Ministry of Truth, and I believe they they were calling it the, the Ministry <laughs> yeah, of Truth. I think you're right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then. And we have to sit here in God's country and, and scratch our heads and say, yeah, the RNC is going to step up any time now. Yeah, okay. 
<sighs> yeah, they, they they can't they can't cancel. Oh no, not again! They canceled the the, uh, the Ministry of Truth and renamed it the Disinformation Bureau. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, all right. It's all cool then. You know. <laughs> hey, you want to hear something really wacky? Uh, Joe had a had a story. He, he was going to bring in um, an LA story. Is that the one you wanted to do, Joe? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, this we need the we need the doctor in the house for this one. <laughs> But, and maybe Paul knows a little bit about yeah, this, but just, appar- apparently just you know, uh, in, this com- is going on pre- predominantly in the Bay Area. Did we lose him um, again? LSD. On, I'm lost. It. I'm back Wait, out. No, oh, you're on. You're good. Can you guys hear I me? I don't think he can hear us. He can't hear us. All yeah, right. So, so what else we got going on here? Uh, well, you know what? I, I, I wanted Come to touch in. on uh, Jason Aldean's um, oh, okay. song first. Yeah, well, I'm having you know, a technical are... difficulty here. Well, I, anyway, they're, they're, uh, LSD is back in the picture. So apparently uh, uh, tech professionals, uh, investors, you know, people and, you know, professional people are using um, what they call yeah, micro, yeah, okay. or micro-dosing LSD and in, help enhance their minds. They can uh, tr- troubleshoot and solve uh, problems think, um, that they couldn't this do has been otherwise a, a thing in silicon valley for a long time if i'm not mistaken masculine yeah yeah but uh, in- interesting and what i what i also thought was interesting is that in 2022 it was the it was um the market value it was a four four point nine billion dollars it was bringing in the, in this industry and they think that by 2029 well, will be you know, about now that 11.8 billion. Afghanistan so, CIA doesn't have the uh, poppies. The, the poppies anymore. They, they the got to switch to, <laughs> to uh, maybe had to switch over to uh, uh, you know LSD, LSD or whatever. I am the walrus. Hallucinogenics. You know LSD. You know yeah. Uh, you know you know me. I'm a adventurous guy. I've tried LSD. It didn't seem like that big of a deal. There. No, not that big of a deal you do micro dosing thing, i guess um yeah, but there yeah. are there are things out there and one of them is ayahuasca the stories that i've heard about this freak me out hey. all right um the things that people are having common common uh experiences and seeing very dark things you know what i mean and uh, that kind of freaks me out so i ain't gonna be experimenting with none of that shit um what is that uh it's slipping my mind uh yeah. not mescaline <laughs> the the drug the the, the uh, uh the, the one party one, the, the one, rave drug um it's, uh, it's the rape drug. The, the drug rave drug. rave r-a-v-e oh, rave. MD, mdma yeah ecstasy? yeah that, what's that yeah, ecstasy what, what? ecstasy is is exactly what what this is it's a low grade acid low grade speed kind of kind of condensed this is what i read oh, and it okay. um, it enlightens you it opens your mind it doesn't make you throw crap out the window like stockton state college <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah a closed window <laughs> of my car <laughs> <laughs> a heineken bottle does not go through a window it should have been opened okay I yeah, thought it was over. Yeah. We're talking. I'm going to just say this, okay? And I'm not giving away anything. Plus, the statute of uh, limitations is way over. Somebody on this call used a German nine millimeter to shoot signs out of a moving car in Florida. That's all I'm going to say. I uh, I I have no. Uh, I am the walrus. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I, I I don't I. I don't I, know. I, you remember Jason Aldean um, <laughs> doing it again? <laughs> I know. It's, I know it's been a while, a week and a half. Uh, I don't know if I want to get into that. It's not even in the news anymore. But the, there was a big huff about that, and I was going to read some of the lyrics because I I printed out the lyrics. I'm not a country fan, but um, I, I don't even know if we'll do it. But but uh, some of the lyrics were like uh, sucker punch somebody on a sidewalk, carjack an old lady at a red light. I pull a gun on an owner of a liquor store. You think it's cool? Well, act like a fool if you like. Uh, cuss out the cop, spit in his face, stomp on a flag and light it up. Yeah, think you're tough. And it goes on and on. And I'm re- the reason I was going to revamp that story is because what we were talking about with the, you know, the 7-Elevens, the, uh, you know, t- also tying into South South Africa. Um, not, in, yeah, I mean, these are inner cities you're talking about. So tr- you try this in a small town and on and on and on it goes. So I understand how the left uh, came out against this song and rejected it in, in uh, Toto because 
it's what it was. It wasn't about a song. It wasn't about a, your small town. You know, like we all know John Mellencamp, the small town song. I think he called it small town. <laughs> um, but it was about the mm-hmm. revelation, if you will, or the revealing of an agenda. Um, once you see the accepted behavior of certain individuals, doesn't matter what they are. Once you see that accepted behavior, you also see the agenda that's backing that. And that's the problem. We can't, you can't, you just simply cannot allow that. Yeah. Well, it, it's my prediction. And I, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I have a brain tumor that helps me see the future. Right. Uh, my prediction is that they are going to facilitate some event um, that causes a lot of um, disruption, a lot of a lot of violence, disruption, and they're already coming to the suburbs. Uh, these these uh, uh, scholars, uh, they're coming around to to the suburbs and stealing our catalytic converters and yep. uh, yeah. breaking into our shit and, and stuff like that. So it's they, a bit they crazy. know the way. They know the yeah, way. Yeah, and there will be fal- there'll be plenty of false flags as well. But, um, yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know. Uh, you know the way Trump is going. Um, you know, no, no, it's odd. No matter what they do, it it just makes them stronger. You know what I mean? Well, like we talked about uh, the last our last show, it it makes the movement stronger for sure. Yeah, yeah. You know. So hey, Joe's got this really. Uh, I I heard this. He he was telling me about this earlier, and I was like, no way. This doesn't. This is surreal. This is it, well. Not only, I mean, I caught you off off guard with it, but this is this was found out in March, and now we're just hearing about it. Illegal biomedical lab found yeah. in a warehouse near Fresno. That's California, um, for run uh, by you, Chinese you, uh, West Virginians. Yeah, 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 yeah. R- r- run by the, the Chinese. Okay, I mean they've got. Um, some pretty bad stuff there. First of all, they had like a thousand mice that were, um, uh, they were, chem- the mice were altered to carry COVID and, uh, and just... transmit it. Um, they, you know, they had a uh, Corona four, they had malaria, they had E. Coli, they had HIV, hepatitis, herpes. Um, they had over 20 different, um, transmittable diseases that they were working with in this makeshift lab yeah, in Fresno I, I, in a I, warehouse. I heard the story. Now, you recall and, me saying I'm a racist? I'm a xenophobe. Yeah, no, but now we do. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a xenophobe. No, I, 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 I recall that. All these freaking Chinese out the freaking door. Yeah. I want the students gone. I want Chinese people who are buying up freaking land next to our military bases. All of them gone. I want the ones that are bribing our public officials the fuck out of here is that clear <laughs> I pretty is, that, clear. is that is that xenophobic enough xenophobic that sounds good so, sounds sounds good to me especially this article goes on to say how the rat the the rats or the mice were were in inhumane <laughs> conditions yeah. i mean that really makes it for okay. me i don't All know right. about you were they experimental but, rats weren't they I mean, I mean, yeah. the mice were kept you know, in inhumane you know, conditions. Crazy no when I shit. see a hair they product get, and it says really? this was not tested on animals. Oh, what was it? It was t- t- tested yeah. on humans. No, no, I yeah. want you well, to test, you test on them? animals. Uh, freaking terminal patients. I mean, for crying no. out loud. Anyway, this is. Well, I heard that. I was like, you got to be no. kidding me. I thought, yeah. Joe. I thought for for uh, dr- drama, you paused. When you said it, another lab, and I'm thinking, okay, yeah, so they found another one in Ukraine. Big deal. No, 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 no. Right in freaking L.A. or whatever, San Juanin or whatever. Yeah. Wait, wait okay, a Fre- I, don't, I don't even know what where the Fresno US is. Government but... is doing. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna yeah. have kittens. <laughs> yeah, we'll do some testing on those kittens. Yeah. Could you imagine? It, uh, um, injecting mice after you alter it, this is a fauci right after you alter the freaking chemical or the, the the poison in their body so they can spread it to humans isn't that called something isn't that called something yeah yeah that's what i thought it was it's called gain of <laughs> function well that goes well, 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 yeah, you, on. you want me to get started on story. fauci I, joe did i tell you my mouth story 
Hey, hey, you want to talk about gain of Which function? Which one? Go I ahead. Gain of Tell me. All right. <laughs> We're not talking now, about your sex life here. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, you know, hey. uh, little blue pills uh, or something. You know. <laughs> anyway, scientists, and this is part of. I have a folder called Dark Future Tech. There's all kinds of no. cool stuff in there, AI and gene editing and CRISPR technology and all that stuff. Scientists took cells, uh, stem cells or whatever kind of cells, from two from two male mice. Oh, you mice. told me this. Yeah. Okay? Two males. And they made a freaking baby out of it. <laughs> All right, but, you know, was hey, mouse, hey, they're just Come getting on. started. Hey, we did sheep. Let's give them, let's sheep. Give them some more funding and see where yeah. this goes. How about yeah. that? Hey, just I want you to be to be uh, um, rest assured that as of July seventh, they destroyed all the biological oh, agents. So much better, and, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah. Of, of, they're of working on did. removing the equipment. So uh, you, you should yeah. you uh, should sleep better well, at night just, knowing let, that. Let me bring in the story here because this one's hit. This uh, is going to hit home a little uh, bit here, and then we can wrap it up with this uh, a couple of clips, or actually one clip of uh, Come Holla. Uh, oh, do we have to? <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh, really? Wait, 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 hold on. I can save. I can save us. I can say I can save us. We didn't talk about Joe's pizza oven. <laughs> Joe's I got, got wait, pizza I, didn't, oven. I didn't do the R.I.P. Sinead. I got to do that. All right. Uh, Real quick. She, he she really doesn't want to talk about Kamala. Um, yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, been, yeah. Oh, you didn't know that? No. Oh, really? Yeah, she, uh, she. No, she, I don't know if she just gave up the ghost or what. She had a, she was disgusting. She had some messed up stuff in her head, but I'll tell you what, the I I really liked her back in the eighties or whatever, her. and then she did that Saturday thing, Night Live, Saturday yeah. Night Live, where she threw ripped up the the Pope's picture, and I want to just say I apologize to Sinead. Back then, I did not know what the Catholic church was up to. Otherwise I would still have my CDs that I tossed in the garbage back then. Uh, Uh, Anyway, RIP. I hope her mind's at rest. She's got a beautiful voice. Yeah. And Pee Wee's gone. Pee Wee Herman also died a couple days ago. Yep. Anyway, I'm doing this anyway. (laughs) I I couldn't, I couldn't distract you. (laughs) No, because this is important. This is a part of the the, uh, Florida curriculum that DeSantis put in uh, and he's beefed up. He's actually beefed up the uh, so-called African-American studies uh, in in African-American history section for grades six to eight, along with the instruction on slave trading, revolts, African patriots, congressional actions, and the cotton industry. So we're 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 being pretty gratuitous here. Uh, the abo- the abolitionist uh, abolitionist uh, for crying out loud, you know, <laughs> the that, guys that, who got rid of slavery. Yeah, the the, aboli- the abolish guys. guys. <laughs> that big, sometimes that big IQ gets right in my way. Uh, and the underground railroad and reconstruction teachers are now required to include how slaves develop skills in which some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. So that was a quote out of the book. So in other words, if you're if you were sold into slavery and the, the master said, well, you look like a fine strapping lad. I'm going to put you in the uh, the carriage house and you're going to learn to be um, my uh, wheel uh, right blacksmith or, or, or mill. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So lo and behold, after 500,000 American white soldiers died and the, the slaves were free, um, you know, Leroy now has a new skill that he happened to, you know, he, he's a free man. And you know, like Morgan Freeman, and then he's he went and and, and started a business uh, ostensibly, you know, uh, with his newfound skill. So, and this is that's that's a fact, and this is what uh, Come Holla said about it. Just yesterday, in the state of Florida, they decided middle school students will be taught that enslaved people benefited from slavery. Well, they insult us in an attempt to gaslight okay. us, and we will not stand for it. We who share a collective experience. Oh, please. In knowing we must honor history mm-hmm. God, and her our voice duty is irritating. in the context of legacy. And the bus goes round. There and is round. so much at stake in this moment. Our most basic <laughs> rights. Man. Imagine and having to go home to her. Fact versus oh. fiction. 
foundational principles about what it means to be a democracy. So that's uh, that's, that's like my new favorite uh, clip there. <laughs> She's special. She is special. And the wheels on the bus go round and round. Um, I took a little yellow bus and I wanted freedom when I was young. She, yeah, right. She's, okay. she's a she's a um a one pull up dump away from being president of the United States of America. Yeah, this, okay. that that is perfect. Um, that is um, perfect. Believable. So, and that, uh, my friends, is uh, the Go Get Your Shine Box podcast season three coming at you almost live. Yes, so. nearly. At least we're alive, uh, which you may have questioned over the past week since, you know, not everybody was uh, committed. I can't make it. I have to go fly. <laughs> I think Joe dropped off. He's not going to put up with it. He's not putting up with it. He's going to, he's going to be forced to listen and fix his technical issues. <laughs> that sucks. I, I, I have uh, the, what, what do you, uh, I could get a, a, a helicopter if I want. I need some stick time. <laughs> Stick time, yeah, that's funny. He's gonna he's gonna call me later and scream. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> uh, I, I had to wrap my hand are, around that throbbing con- control <laughs> stick. Which oh, was it a joystick or a wheel? <laughs> All right. Oh, he's gonna he, he's gonna pay us back for that. One. <laughs> anyway, all right, it was. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. When you when you need a ride, I just want to know if you could fly. I'll be like, uh huh. When you gotta get, when you gotta get out of Dodge, that's quick. When I'll be worried. You know. I want to know if you can do some treetop flying. <laughs> uh, I can. I, I can. Good. We got windshield wipers. Oh, do you have a uh, do you have a scripture to take us out tonight, Joe? Or you didn't? Okay. Oh, I, all right. I, I, do I not think that'd tonight. be a nice I feature. Maybe you can uh, come up with it. Uh, well, how about yeah. here's here's yeah. one. He's yeah. weeping right Jesus now. wept. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, exactly. That, all right, guys. My point. Appreciate your time. We are out of here and uh, back on normal uh, normal schedule. <laughs> Whatever that is. So leave a like. Uh, we're on YouTube. We're on uh, the Twitter a little bit. And I'm not a big fan of it, but and yeah. wherever you get your favorite podcast. If you you like yeah, what we do, hit the like use a cup of coffee. Share too. it around with your friends. Hit the like button. Whatever you guys do. And uh, if you don't like what we do, send me a comment. Yeah. We'll discuss it. Because we're not uh, we're not like the left. If you have something negative to say, we'll air it. Yeah. We will air it. Hell's yeah! All right, guys. We will air it. And leave, 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 your a, address. leave a number. We'll call you. We'll, we'll get you on the air. We'll come to the house. <laughs> we'll we'll show up and like discuss Leaf and be it. a friend of ours. That's so. right. We we can always use new friends. Yeah. That's, All right. Uh, ciao, guys. Good We're night, out. Folks. Take care. All right. Good night. <laughs>